It's been over two years since Google took the wraps off Android Wear, and since then the UI has stayed relatively similar. That is all about to change with the release of Android Wear 2.0 developer preview. I'm John Rangers from Techno Buffalo, and we are live at Google I.O. 2016 in beautiful Mountain View, California. So what is Android Wear 2.0 going to bring you that maybe you don't have on your existing wrist? Well, a few giant ones jump to mind. The first, you don't have to find the watch face that has the information for the app you need. Now any watch face can show any information from any app. That is a huge and welcome update. So Android Wear has been all about notifications, but how are you going to reply those notifications? Android has taken what they've done in the past really just to the next level. Uh, we now have a full QWERTY keyboard with swipe gestures. You can use your finger to draw on the screen now. It's actually going to scroll across, giving you infinite space to scroll out your message. If you want to tell your mom you'll be home at 10, you can go ahead and just type that up on your wrist. And if you use your watch for fitness, Google's got some treats in store for you. Now you can leave your phone at home, go for a run or a jog, whatever you want to do with your watch on, and it will automatically send all the information to the phone at your house. If you're a big music fan as well, you can now play music on your watch without the need for your phone. All that is great, but for me, the biggest update is standalone apps finally coming to Android Wear. No longer do you have to wait for apps to load from a phone or a connected device. They can now launch directly from your wrist, meaning you're going to get faster, more powerful apps finally coming to Android Wear. Why don't you check out the first developer preview? It is available now. We don't know when the final release is going to be or what Android Wear devices are going to get this. Presumably, we'll see them start to hit the market in the next few months. What I think about Android Wear is it worth waiting for the next version of the Moto 360 or maybe the Huawei Watch, whatever might be coming soon. I want to hear your thoughts on it. Leave them in the comments down below. Till next time, I'm John Ranger from Techno Buffalo. Talk to you guys in the next video.